Over the 2013 Easter vacation, a group of members from St Edmund Hall's John Oldham Drama Society of the University of Oxford travelled to Cameroon to work in partnership with the Liberté Arts Group. Together, the Liberté and John Oldham members set out to use Forum Theatre as a way to promote developmental issues within village communities and schools in Cameroon. The acting team carried out 10 village performances for local groups and villages throughout the northwest region of Cameroon. This encouraged local participant engagement in issues of concern. These village voices were then fed into a final staged play, which was performed for state actors and NGO workers to inspire a more participatory approach to development. It is hoped that by watching this documentary, more people will also be encouraged to act for change in Cameroon. Mr. Thomas Bailey, what in the world brought you all the way from Oxford to Cameroon and to Foundation Radio? Um, it all started when uh, we were back in Oxford and a member of the college that we were at, um, a girl called um, Roxana Willis, um, she um, told us about this fantastic um, acting group in Cameroon called La Liberté Arts Group, run by a Mr. Akumbu Jones. What we're trying to do is uh, put on a number of forum theatre pieces around the Bermenda area, in villages around the Bermenda area. Um, and in these pieces we're dealing with three main themes. Um, and these themes are um, antenatal care slash, slash HIV screening, voter apathy and sexual harassment and our aims are to um, use Forum Theatre to get people talking about these issues. Um, Forum Theatre, you have a story and your story is not complete. Mm. So what you do with your audience helps you complete that story on stage. Is it true isn't that because it was very close to home? <laughs> <laughs> because the stone threw from where you came from. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, okay. why did you start there? Let's know what you did and know. Um, we had um, a, a play on, um, on. I was talking about um, this lady Manka, who, 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 who is trying to convince her husband mm -hmm. into following her for pre-marital. Um, that's pre-testing, HIV testing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe the conflict is uh, men do not go for antenata with their wives. And two, pregnant women need to, to go for antenatal. They always need to go for antenatal. Okay, it begins with pregnant women need to go for antenatal to do their HIV test to secure the, the status of the child. Okay, show us. That's why I'm saying that. Let me give you the story. Mm -hmm. This woman goes to the hospital, does her HIV test, and she's negative. Mm -hmm. And then this man comes to propose to her. Mm -hmm. And the woman suggests that the man and herself go to the hospital to do his mm -hmm. HIV test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on their way now. No, the girl does hers before marriage. Before marriage, with the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the man does. And then the girl suggests to the man that they, and as they are on their way to the hospital, the man meets some friends, mm -hmm. and they find out what he is going for, and then he tells, tells mm -hmm. them, and they, they laugh at him, and then he decides to go back. Exactly. 
Material comes to an end, yes. and uh, as the coordinator, I say freeze, and the action stops. And at this stage, the spec actors really start to get involved. And freeze. So uh, it's quite clear what the conflict is. Um, does the war follow his friend's advice? And uh, he, you know, he doesn't want to be humiliated. He doesn't want to uh, look silly or do something that you know people are going to laugh at him for. Or should he follow the advice of his future wife, uh, Manka? Yes. I disagree the idea with the way they invent the top of the war. Because it's a bad idea. He go with it. Why does he go to man? Why? Because it helps to be important more than everything. He helps to be a woman in HRKS. Uh -huh. Then people <coughs> come back to the school and we find one day, no, a boy, he helps. Uh, Okay. So now one person opinion on love is a plain to people and also I should also get Koro Koro idea for it. Yeah, again I uh, I disagree with those three uh, no, no, no. characters because <laughs> love is genuine and if we are to follow the pattern of genuineness, then Mugua should listen to the vice, despise her position in the home or to be positioned. So Mwa was right when he took the idea or the initiative to go for clinical uh, HIV test in the hospital with the wife. Yes. I want to ask Mwa a question. Yes. Okay. Why did he first of all accept to go with the wife? Was it just to win the wife's affection or there were some other reasons? Ask Mwa yourself. <laughs> why? <What? laughs> when, 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 you, when you were alone together, before these guys were here, why? Was it just that the wife is so beautiful yes. and he doesn't want to lose a beautiful wife <laughs> or did he really what have the reasons for going to do it? motivation? Why did he accept? Okay, first of all, I love my wife. I disagree with uh, the vice president. Okay. The advice that we're giving him. Yeah. Because he, he had already consented to the test with his wife and decided to go to have that test. They were discouraged by his friends who might take the uh, leading him to the wrong direction. His friends are living in the past. That's why they keep saying African man and so on and so on. We are going to modern society and things must go the way we see things happening now in this world. So we are to the right decision when he accepted to go with his wife for that test. Because if something goes wrong in the future, he will find himself in even more trouble than if he went for the test and had done so. Wow. You should listen to the friends because uh, Knowing the statue is just like you are trying to prevent yourself from having, in case the wife and the man is having the HIV, it means the girl will have to divorce the man. Mm. So but that, but that man needs to work money. In case he can still be uh, contaminated, likewise if there is money, he can have the drug and live long as a normal human being.
Why did you think that Juliet was enjoying your behavior? Actually, I've dated so many girls before in the past. So I know when a girl is like pretending because from the first time she cannot ever think she's you cannot think she's enjoying her behavior, but she's pretending deep inside her. So I knew she was pretending, but the time she'll come to like it. Okay. Do we do we think she's pretending? Do we think she's pretending? No. I don't think so. So Jack still doesn't believe her. Yeah. Okay, well, as for me, I think if the girl continues to say no and the boy keeps on pressuring her, the girl should like look for someone who can who can talk to the boy. Maybe that counselor might put some sense into that guy or she she's going to the medical. She's back out of my brother. See the future where Jack is responsible enough to himself. Okay? And so let's have the let's stick back the scene again from the beginning where he will meet with his friends and let's see Jack be more responsible this time around. Hi Julian. I don't mind if you want to sit down and not really see. But I came to really say I'm very, very sorry for what happened last time at your place. It was not my intention to do that. It was not really my intention. I'm really, really sorry. Thank you. I really appreciate you said that. Thank you. Thank you too. I'm so grateful. Yeah. I just wish we could continue with friends. Manka, 
and Gua are now married. They've been married for six months. And Manka is now five months pregnant. She's finally managed to convince her husband to accompany her to the clinic for antenatal care. However, on the way to the clinic, Ngua sees some friends. walking like across the stage and in that space in that time when he would walk from one side of the stage to the other the the cleaners in panic are like right we're gonna, we're gonna replace him we're gonna replace him <laughs> Witnesses this 
and he decides to change things. While it does his vote very quickly, he runs home, he gets to Manka, everyone, in, everyone else in the car sits down and watches. For the past two weeks that we have worked together, we have had three th thematic areas that we've been working on. We've been working on um, sexual harassment, working on voter apathy, and we've been working also on um, anti natal care for women. And uh, basically, that's, those are three main thematic areas that we've been working on. Is this a worrying problem? Of course, of course. You want to know that um, um, about 61% um, of women, they don't go to anti natal early enough, and that gives um, problems for them when they actually give birth later. Um, so it's a worry problem in terms of antenatal. In terms of voter apathy, you can't imagine that in a country like Cameroon with a population of close to 20 million, not up to 7 million of Cameroonians to vote. And then it means that their voices are not heard. Ladibite has a strong, strong advocative position in terms of encouraging Cameroonians to make their voices heard. And one of the ways to make their voices heard is to get themselves registered and to also not only register, but to actually make sure that they vote. So it is a worrying problem that in a country with 20 million people, just up to now, Elegant tells us the official number is about 5 million, pe million people. That is not even half of the population. Therefore, it's a worrying problem. That is why we need to encourage more Cameroonians to register, and not only to register, but to have <laughs> Yes, I'd like to go 
to antenatal together. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted you to say. <laughs> That's it. Guys, that was really good.